Hello, hello, hello. Oh, well, so, 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 so. okay, let me get better background music on. There we go. Oh, I muted it. There we go. There we go. There we go. Yes. Hi, guys. It's been a while. Yeah, I just wanted to pop in because I have not I have not streamed in a, a hot minute. Uh, I've just been really busy, so... Yeah, I kind of just wanted to do a... Just a simple chatting stream. Good <sighs> morning. Oh, yeah. Sorry, I just... I woke up, like, a while ago, but I went out and, like, took a little stroll around. But I still have a bit of the sleepies going on. But yeah. Uh, so, I was chatting, just chilling today. Uh, I have to go to work later on, so I was just, like... Thinking like just something simple, something chill. Uh, yeah, but uh, first of all, uh, first order. Uh, I have something for you guys, and let me pull it, pull it up real fast. What? Okay, wait. Oh, you see it? Okay, okay. Ta da! I made. I made uh, a period. What's it called? <laughs> Not appearances. I made little uh, little forms for you guys. So Lofomies, you now have uh, something. This is what Lofomies look like. Yeah. I was originally gonna go with just one, but I think we need a spectrum. We need a spectrum of Lofomies. So you have... Let me zoom in a bit more. At the very top, you have... Swag low for me. You know, you have your little like dinghy, the little light on your head, like me. You're kind of based off a catfish because uh cat cat's loaf. Yes, 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 yes. Then we have the cute low for me, Epi Fry low for me. You're very fluffy, very fluffy. You have a little shrimp tail in the back. Then you have like stripy so stripy like legs and little puffy feet. Yeah, this one I really, really liked. Uh, what was it? I made all of these just like in Clip Studio Paint. Uh, yeah, I wanted all of the designs to make it look like you guys could loaf. And then here's the biblically accurate loaf of me. Where you are, you are the loaf. You have become loaf. You are. <laughs> People be baked now, Adamanda. <laughs> Alright, uh, yeah, this is my gift to you guys. This is my gift. Uh, just something, just something, just like a fun little thing for you guys to like play with. What is it? I've always wanted to design something for myself. Like, I, I wasn't really sure about doing a mascot because I kind of, I guess I could, I could kind of do just a fucked up version of my normal self as a mascot, but like, I wanted to draw something that like you guys would like you guys would be able to look like so you guys have like you know if you ever want to draw yourselves in anything but yeah this is what loaf of me's officially look like yeah yeah i'm gonna leave this up uh i guess right here right here yeah yeah, yeah. for anyone new who's coming in uh, yeah uh, yeah that is my surprise for y'all i hope you guys like it i hope you guys see it later on but uh, yeah uh, I also got with me some coffee, so I'm sorry if you guys hear sipping. I'm gonna need this coffee later because I'm still I'm still waking up. <sighs> I'm sorry if you could hear the the slurping. Oh shit! Sorry if you could hear the slurping. Uh, yeah. Uh, was I usually go to like a coffee shop? Like a bit further down from where I live, like there's one that is like, that yeah, was it. I usually, in order to force myself to get exercise, I go walk and get coffee. Um, it's like a half, like a half hour walk there and then half hour back, and it's like, it's really nice. It's really chill. Uh, I think they've been there for like a long time, and like I've kind of gotten to become, I've kind of got a, gotten to know some of them. Some of the people who work there, I found out one of them also works at like the chum bucket. The same exact one as me. And it's like, 
it gives me a bit of hope. It gives me a bit of hope knowing that, like, someone... Someone was able to move on from where I was. Or, like, from where I currently am. So it's like, oh, okay. I'm not trapped here. Yet. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um... But yeah, so I got, ended up getting like a different like coffee from a different place this time. It's like in the, I guess the more like commercialized area near my house. Oh hi! Hello, hello. We're just chilling. We're just chilling. How are you? Oh, Yuki Suzuki, thank you for the follow. Hello, hello, Goob Morbin. How are you on this morning? Oh, Cotton Swab! Hello! Howdy, howdy! Oh yeah, uh, for you guys who missed it earlier, uh, I designed... I designed little mascots for you guys, so this is what you guys look like as Lofumis! If you ever want to draw yourselves. Yeah! You have three to pick from. You have the, uh, the Catfish, Ebi Fry, and Biblically Accurate Lofumi. Yeah! But yeah, uh, what was it? What was I talking about again? Oh yeah, coffee! <laughs> Coffee. Oh my god. You're ha you're the hat guy! Let's go! Let's go! Hell yes. Cool guy. You're the cool guy. Hell yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, yeah. Uh coffee. Uh yeah, I went to like kind of a bougier place than usual this time. Uh it definitely cost me a bit more. I'll say for sure. And like I I get kind of shy when I order, like, I, like, do you guys have that thing where it's like you go up and you don't ask questions, you're just like, uh, I'll have this one. And then you just point, but you don't ask, like, questions like, oh, like, is, or like, any, like, because you're afraid of asking, like, a stupid question, it's like, oh, I don't want this guy to, like, have to be like, oh, do you guys hear about what this customer just asked me? Like, they asked me if this one, like, like, if this, if this one drink comes with water or some shit like that, and I'm just like, Oh no. And this is also like a fancier place, so I was just like, oh, I don't want to seem like... I don't want to piss them off by asking like, oh, can I have an iced coffee? Because it's like, Brewster Animal Animal Crossing is just like, only plebs order cold coffee. I want to win at ordering food, which is both normal to want and possible to... Right? <laughs> right? Like, oh my god. Like, I just want to be able to ask like simple questions without like being like, am I annoying? Am I pissing them off? But it's like, yeah. So basically I ordered this coffee and I was just like, I thought I thought they would ask me, I was like, oh, do you want it hot or iced? And I was, I was ready to say iced, but I was just like, oh, points at this one thing. Is this black coffee? Yes, I'll have that one. And then he just started working on it. I was like, oh no, it's gonna be hot. And it's a hot day outside. I was like, no, I'm gonna burn. I'm gonna die. <laughs> like, I walked back half an hour with this damn thing, and I think I burned my thumb, like, a little bit. Like, just, like, I just singed it a bit. This thing is still kind of hot, by the way. Like, it was fresh brewed. I was like, oh my god. This is the, this is the fancy stuff. This is the, the stuff the upper crust gets in Atlantis. Damn. I mean, it tastes really good. It's very like nice and smooth. Uh, was I think the reason why I picked this one also is like, because it had like honey. Was it? This one in particular said that um it was made with uh, honeysuckle. So I was just like, ooh, sweet and smooth. Sounds good. Iced americano with the sugar syrup. Oh, okay. Americanos are actually like a lot better for you than most other like coffees that like a lot of places like usually advertise. Like, Americano is like, what was it? The ratio, if I remember, it's like two cups of, what was it? It's two, two shots of espresso to one cup of water with ice. And that's actually a pretty good ratio for like a normal person because you're not like overloading your system with caffeine. And yeah, the sugar syrup is actually a bit, I think it's on the same, it's also like, pretty good because it's not like processed sugar like the um the ones that come in the packets it's just um usually the sugar syrup uh, is the one that they boil in-house so it's like actually pretty fresh 
As long as you don't add like too, too much, it's like pretty good for you. Hold on, I'm gonna take a sip. Ah. Oh, that was good. Yeah, I usually take my coffee black because I've, I don't know, I just had like this weird thing for a while. I'm also lactose intolerant. So like growing up, a lot of the times I just would get my coffee with, with like the smallest amount of milk. And this was before like soy milk, almond milk and oat milk got really popular and became more popular as an option. So I like, I would always order, I would always have like black coffee cause to help with, um, I think I would get like weird stomach aches or like motion sickness sometimes. And like one of my relatives would be like, oh, coffee will help you. But the thing is, for the longest time, I just didn't like the taste of coffee for a while. And it's like, I would try putting some sugar in it, but I just, it didn't really help the taste that much. But it was like, the more I had it, I guess, like the more I just grew used to it. And now I've gotten, I have unfortunately spiraled to the point where I have had good coffee. And now I can't have like the crappy, chum bucket mcdonald's like fast food coffee anymore like i had i had one once um on a road trip and like i couldn't finish it i had to give it to someone else because it was just the beans tasted burnt and like they overloaded it with sugar so it was both sour and sweet at the same time and it was just a horrible experience overall so i was just like oh my god i'm never getting like like, you know the, what was it, the meme triangle where it's just like, um, McDonald's, 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 uh, we have food at home and orders a black coffee and nothing else. I would be, a lot of my friends consider me on the orders the black coffee, but the thing is, I wouldn't go to a McDonald's for that. I would just go to some place where I would, like, I don't mind paying $5 for a coffee that I can swallow. I, like, I've gotten to that point where I'm just like, okay, if I'm gonna fuck my body over with, like, caffeine, I'll at least get, like, the tasty ones so that way I can just gulp it instead of just suffering for, like, an hour or something. Mm -hmm. But yeah. Sorry, I'm gonna sip. <sighs> but yeah. Uh, yeah, in terms of my order, though, usually I just get a black Americano now. Before I used to get cold brew, which I found out was really, really bad because that's just straight. You were just drinking liquefied caffeine and it's so bad for you. I used to work in a cafe on campus and it was sick. I would just make whatever. Oh shit! Dude, dude, you know the good shit then. You know the good shit. Yeah, I used to also work at a... I worked specifically in a matcha cafe when I was, um, when I was at university. Oh my god. I think that's also where I discovered I had a, a very hardcore caffeine addiction because, um, oh my god, we had this drink that was a shot of, it was a shot of espresso and I think it was a tablespoon of matcha. You put um, some creamer in there and I would add salted cream on top. That stuff was so fucking good, man. It was addicting. How uh, Starbucks on campus, but we also had the one I worked in was owned by the same company. Oh, so it was like um, like a coffee bean kind of a thing, or just like what was it? The because uh... I know there's some big chains that are just like technically owned by like smaller business owners, but it's just like you operate just under the name, but the store is technically however you want to run it. Because I know they do that with um, what's it called? There's this one Asian bakery, eighty five. I've been uh eighty five, and I think there's also like a tea company ding tea that has stuff like that because they're just like very widespread so people can just technically like operate under the name as long as i think it's like i think it's like you have to get permission or something or like a business I, I don't know it's like a business it's a business thingy i do not know but it's like you can tell when you walk in you can tell yeah yeah yeah, yeah but um oh my god that's really cool that's, so you actually know your stuff then with like coffee and stuff how to make stuff taste good yeah oh so, uh it just had its own thing going on i don't think it was a franchise that has a sciencey name because whoa that's really cool actually yo the science of coffee yo honestly yeah i think every 
every university campus, there should be one coffee shop within every, like, every building, <laughs> I feel like. You, oh my god. Oh my god, you're flashing me back to, like, when I was in university, man. Like, oh my god. Like, I do kind of- I actually really miss it, like, not so much assignments and, like, coursework. Uh, their cold brew is just a drip coffee, but in a pitcher in the fridge. <laughs> Yo! Oh my god. Also, they did, like, what most places do, so it's- oh, okay, okay. So it's not the actual, like, brewed in the fridge. You brew it and then just chill it. Oh, okay, okay. That's actually kind of better for you, because, um, you get most of the caffeine out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, as opposed to, like, throwing it in the fridge with just water and beans. And then it just ferments in there like kimchi. Yeah, yeah, that's the stuff I used to drink, actually. What was it? I think it- The worst thing I've ever done to myself was, um... What was it? Um... Let's see, how many fluid ounces is this water bottle? Uh... 24... 24 ounces. Yeah, um, I went, okay, so this is really bad. Guys, I, I'm serious when I say don't do this because you will end up, you will not be able to sleep. Even if, even if you think you can, just be like, just don't do this because you, this will actually like fuck over your system, like your metabolism and your system. Because I, when I was in the university, I drink, what was it? 700 milliliters, 24 fluid ounces of cold brew in a day. <laughs> Sometimes more. <laughs> what is it? Like, uh, mama shrimp. Uh, when I would tell her, it's like, oh, I'm gonna be out late. I'm gonna be working on assignments. Uh, I would, she would just be like, oh, do you want coffee? And I would be like, yeah. And she would fill up my water bottle with cold brew. <laughs> it was. It helps me stay awake, but oh my god, like looking back at it, it's so bad for you. I brew like 16 ounces into my Nalgene bottle with however much sugar I wanted at night, freeze it, and then broke to- Oh my god! <laughs> Bro! <laughs> oh my god, you got a weed off of that. Oh my god. Yo, okay. I understand. If- because- you're- you're also in university. You gotta be awake. You gotta have that- that, like... That was back in the day. Oh, thank god. Oh, thank god. I was about to be like, if you still do that, bro, I- I think we need to talk. I think you need to talk to your doctor about that. Yeah, because what was it? I told the doctor, like, oh yeah, I used to drink, like, 700, like, what was it? 24 ounces of, um... Of cold brew, and he's like, what is wrong with you? Why are you not exp No wonder you have anxiety. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah, um, oh my god, no, oh my god, speaking of horrible caffeine stories on, like, university, in order to show you guys how stupid I am, what was it, there was this one tea place that offered, um, I'm pretty sure this was for parties, because they offered a, um, a half gallon, a half gallon of milk tea, and I, I was stupid. And I thought like, oh, it's the 7-Eleven Big Gulp, but with milk tea in it and boba. And so I, stupid idiot, go over, go through, it was a drive through too. Like it was a, it was like a pretty like big chain or it still is a pretty big chain in my area. Um, but yeah, I went to the drive through and I, what was it? They asked like, oh, hi, can I get your order? I asked like, yeah, can I get the half gallon of oolong milk tea with some boba? And they just asked like, are you sure about that? Are, do, you, do you want the boba in like a cup? Do you want the boba on the side? And, uh, and like maybe, cause like what I thought it was is I thought it was like a giant like cup. I thought it was like a half gallon cup full of milk tea. And that I could just have the boba in it, and I could just drink it. But, uh, so I was I was being like confused. I was like, no, I want the I want the boba inside. It, I want it in the half gallon. And they're like, um, I don't know if I don't know if that's possible. Um, just uh, just drive up to the window. Uh, also, your total is like 
I think it was like $24 something for this half gallon. I was like, okay, this is weird. So I drove up to the window and they're like, are you sure you want the half gallon? <laughs> I was like, cause they just, it was just me in the car, in the, it was just me. And I was like, yeah, of course I want the half gallon. It's hot. I got, I got stuff to do. And they're just like, okay. And so they charged me up and handed me a milk carton. I had a milk carton and they said like, do you still want the boba? I was like, no, 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 thank you. No, thank you. And so... <laughs> Stupid idiot me it was just like, can I have a straw? I just asked him to just add insult to injury. Like, can I have a straw for this? For this fucking thing? And they're just like, okay. They gave me just a normal straw. It would not, the straw could not go to the bottom. I lost the straw in there. And I was just like, I, I made the biggest I, I made one of the biggest mistakes of my life that day. But the thing is, I spent 20 something dollars on that half gallon of oolong milk tea. I'm not gonna waste it, you guys. I was like, this is perfectly good tea. And so I drank it all throughout the day. I brought it, I brought it to university with me. And I was, you would just see like, a, a five a five something like twink just chugging out of straight out of a milk carton and like people were, th were like asked me it's like why do you have a carton of like why do you have a carton of chocolate milk i was like oh no this isn't chocolate milk this is milk tea baby and they're like why do you have this <laughs> what is wrong with you and i would just keep chugging it and like i would go to my um my major classes because I, um i'm a yeah, I was an art major. I was an animation major, actually. So I came into, um, we have a, we had a computer lab so we could do our work on stuff. And they had like all the programs were free for us. So that's where I would actually be spending most of my, um, that's where I spent most of my hours uh, during university was just in that lab. And so I brought that thing in there and there's like, um, there was a cabinet where you could put your drinks because we don't allow the drinks near the computers in case something happens. And like, I walked in with the fucking milk carton, and they just asked like, "What you got there? Why do you ha why do you have that?" And they just watched me drink straight from the carton because I lost my stupid straw. I couldn't finish it, you guys. I could I could only drink half, but I think I permanently ruined my body that day because I drank a quarter gallon of milk tea, and this isn't like fruit tea or anything like this is oolong this stuff has caffeine like i think i'm trying to think was how much oolong how much caffeine oolong has but like definitely not as definitely more than green tea i think because i i forgot is is oolong a black tea wait hold on let me let me see uh google uh what kind what king what kind of tea is long uh traditional chinese tea okay but same plant for green and okay but wait what okay is oolong a green or black tea oh it's it's its own genre Ooh, long did oolong may end up with more black tea characteristics or more green tea characteristics depending on the direction the tea master takes in the processing of the tea. Okay, this tells me nothing. <laughs> this tells me nothing. Genre, <laughs> right? No, like there are straight up genres of tea. I know this because I'm, I'm, I'm a fucking idiot. And my thing is just like, ooh, I love, I really like tea. All of yellow, okay. Cause there's like, there's types of teas, there's like, Okay, apparently oolong is its own thing, but there's yellow, black, white, and then also green. And then like black has typically the most caffeine and white is the least. And then like yellow, it's um, was it green and then yellow in terms of like most to least. Uh, but I guess oolong, I, f I always forget if oolong was like considered black or not, but I guess it just depends on like where you go. But this one, <laughs> honestly, I have a feeling that that oolong over at that place was probably considered a black tea because of how the taste was. It wasn't, yeah. I tried tea with rooibos or whatever the fuck it is. It's just straight up like pie. So, no! Oh, I love rooibos. <laughs> Ew. 
Yeah, no. Uh, what was it? Rooibos is a very... What's it called? It's a very acquired tea, I found out. Because I really like rooibos sometimes. Like, if there's, like, um... Flowering in there, or like some orange peels and stuff, like mm, yummy, yummy, yummy. But like I, I know some people who just like detest rooibos with their entire being. Like I like, like part, part of their tea profile is just hating rooibos. <laughs> That's not compost. It's not compost. I, I may be a bottom feeder, but trust me, I don't just eat trash. Please, I don't eat trash. I loved mmm mmm yummy yummy flower orange pe eggshells. <laughs> listen, listen, listen. You cannot get orange peels, eggshells, and shit. Listen, listen. It is my dream one day to travel to another country and eat an, a raw egg because it will not kill me. That is one of my dreams. I know I'm lowballing here, but listen, I want to eat a raw egg and survive. <laughs> Put a raw egg in my tea. Mmm, ochazuke. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, like there's some there's some teas. Um, I think they're more of like the robust flavors that they have like orange. They have like um bits of orange peels like with the um the tea leaves and stuff. Um, typically there's like blue flowers. Uh. A little bit of flavor. I don't like the ones that ha usually have like flavoring in them because they taste a bit metallic. Hi, Casey. Hello, hello. Yeah, no worries, no worries. I'm just chatting until I have to get ready for work. <laughs> Gumba at work today. Oh yeah, I'm gonna sip more of my coffee. Mm. Okay, now I understand why Brewster's like, don't talk to me if you brew coffee cold. <laughs> Because it's a lot flavorful and like, when I usually ask for it over eyes. Okay, now I know why baristas just fucking hate me when I ask like, Can I get a pour over? Over eyes? <laughs> They're just like, what is wrong with you? <laughs> now I know- Oh no! Oh no, the cycle repeats. The cycle repeats. It repeats again. Oh yeah. Uh... Oh yeah, Casey, you missed it. I t I just told my story where I have a, uh, where I drank a, a quarter gallon of milk tea. Oh, you have the, uh, oh you have the pour over the pour the thing of a jig. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I totally know coffee terms. I I too, like the pour over thing of a jig, with, the paper with the paper thingy. Mmm, I love eating paper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The paper the papal funnel. Papal <laughs> the papal funnel uh um um cuppy thingy <laughs> Yeah 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 Honestly so easy but like Oh my god no like when you actually have like really good coffee like made that way it's just like you get a lot of flavor out of it surprisingly I'm just like wow this is just like Persona 5 <laughs> Actually, do you guys want to know something very cringe about me? Do you want to know like the the what I consider one of the top 10 most cringe facts about Popo? So when I was a kid, I saw Black Butler. Like, you know, because it was it was airing at that time. And um when I would give us the cringe. <laughs> yeah. Uh so when I was watching Black Butler, I was just like, "Wow." T sounds so cool because of this show. But the thing is, I had grown up like hating T. I didn't really like it at all because like, what was it? I would go to a lot of like, um, cause there was always a lot of like Chinese and like Asian places near us. And they would always offer us tea instead of water like Jasmine tea. And I usually didn't drink it because I didn't like the taste. Like it was too bitter for me as a kid. And I actually like for the longest time, I would just like try to avoid drinking the tea be um, except for like a couple sips because either it was too hot or I just didn't enjoy the flavor but after says the rooibos tree shut the fuck up shut up rooibos is good it's not caffeinated you can drink it at night you can have it with a little bit of milk and it'll help you go to sleep shut the fuck up shut the fuck up anyways anyways yeah so 
I had a hard time like really getting into tea when I first started, but then I watched a show called Black Butler and I was like, oh my God, tea is so cool. I want to be like Sebastian when I make tea and stuff and like make tea for my friends and give this long-winded explanation on why it's good for you. <laughs> and so from that day forward, I think I was in high school then, I forced myself to like tea. Like I would just drink like Earl Grey and stuff daily before going to like school. Um, and then eventually I just ended up liking it. <laughs> and that's how, that's how I became a tea snob. But how I became a coffee snob specifically is because of a game called Persona 5. <laughs> I'm not someone who will put up with a quiet You know what? You know what? That's fair. That's fair. You, that's, like, that's totally fine. Like, acquired tastes are literally just, it's something you have to, like, either get into or it's just something that, like, you force yourself to like. I, unfortunately, am someone who will do that. I hate beers and I keep trying ones and that's fine with me. Yeah, honestly, beer is really hard. <laughs> yeah, I gaslit my taste buds! I gaslit them to hell and back! Oh my god. No, the way I got myself into being, like, okay with beer is that I just told myself, like, mmm, this is oversteep tea with, um, oh my god, what's it called? Club soda in it! <laughs> and that's how I ended up, like, craving beer after, like, my first couple of jobs. It was just, like, I want some oversteep tea with like, with like some sparkling water in it, aka beer. And then I would have it with like, what was it? There's this one Japanese place I used to go to. It was really good, but like, it tastes. It just like, they tried to become fancy and um turn into an omakase place, but like, they originally were like a pub. Beer tastes like yeast water with a battery in it. <laughs> okay, that's because you haven't had the. What am I saying? I've become what I hate most. <laughs> people who people who recommend beers. <laughs> oh god. Actually, yeah, no, beer is really hard to get into. I feel like um I feel like the harder alcohol is like whiskey, sake, vodka are a lot easier to get into because number one, you can mix it with stuff and it'll taste better. Uh yeah, like, I honestly couldn't get into beer for the longest time until I, like, gaslit myself into being, like, it's cheap alcohol, and you can still drive, you can still go home. Just take it, just take it instead of trying to get, like, sake or some shit. It's also cheap, yeah. It's also very cheap. But, yeah, I am really, I'm really not a beer person. I'm not, a, I actually can't have any alcohol at all, um, uh, as of now. Uh, because of, like, medical issues, but yeah. Uh, what was it? Occasionally though, I'll have like one thing. I think the last alcohol I had was like a Modelo because my cousin was just like, yo, this is the good beer. You should try it at my cousin, my other, at like his siblings, um, at his siblings debut. There's two I found that I like, the 1554 from New Belgium. <laughs> it's Modelo time. Yeah, oh my god. Oh my god. Wait, wait, wait. Hold up. It's- it is Modelo time. Hold on. M-O-D-E-L-O. Uh... Uh, P-N-G transparent. Hold up. Hold up. Guys, it's truly Modelo time. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on, chat. Hold on. It's- it's downloading. Give me a sec. Give me a sec. Is it a J- Is it a JPEG? What? No. Wait, what? Aya? Uh, yeah. Aya? Uh, yeah. What? Am I getting debated? Am I getting debated right now? Oh my god. Oh my fucking god. Am I, am I getting debated for a fuck- for a really stupid bit? Oh my god. Please. Okay, you know what? You know what? It's fine. Chat. I hereby dub you an official fool. 
May God be with you. Alright. But yes, uh, the last- that was the last alcohol I had. Well, no, what was it? Yeah. Cause it's like, it is- I kinda have to plan if I want to have alcohol. What was it? I asked my doctors and they're like, Yeah, you can have a little bit. But only a little bit. And so, what was it? Usually it's, it, it turns into like one shot or one beer. Just something really easy. Yeah, as a treat. Popo could have one bit of alcohol- one alcohol as a treat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, but yeah. What's it called? Yeah. Um, I think before when I like actually drank, I went. I used to be kind of insane. I used to be kind of insane because I would just, I would just drink anything. Like you just. But I found out I'm not that big, not that big of like a whiskey person. Yo, same. Yeah, like. It's just like you kind of hand it to me, say it's good, and it's like, oh, I'll try it. It ends up not being good. What? But, um, what was it? You go through- Everclear! Holy shit! Holy shit, man. I don't think I could ever- Oh, what was it? No. I was able to go through a bottle of, like, the Korean stuff. Uh, the- What was it? Anything else, though? Like, like the big bottles? That stuff, I- it, I can't go through myself. I think my- one of my family tried to get me to into like cognac. Yeah, cognac. But the thing is like that stuff always made me like sick after. Like I never got I never drank to the point of hangovers, but I would get sometimes I would like drink till I was sick. And that was like the one Yeah, cognac west. Yeah, that was <laughs> Yeah, cognac west made me like fucking sick. He also he also told me <laughs> <laughs> he also grabbed the mic when I was in the middle of a speech. And that's why I hate him. That's why I hate him. Actually, no. No. Hold on. Coffee. Never tried it? Um, honestly, it's a very sharp- it, from what I remember, it's very sharp, very- it's a whiskey, it's a dark whiskey. Um, so it's very- it's very concentrated. Um, it's expensive though. That one's kind of expensive. Uh, but it's one of the ones you typically have with like a giant... What was it? You know the like in anime where it's like a dude is- a big dude is at a bar and he has like this giant like circular ice cube with like some whiskey in it? That's like what cognac is supposed to be. Like you're supposed to look like that when you drink cognac. You're a cheap ass bitch. Hey, hey. Sometimes the cheap alcohol is what gets you drunk faster and that's easier. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, like, oh my god. I used. Oh, I can never have Smirnoff anymore, though. Like, that stuff will genuinely make me sick, too, if I have too much. Like, that's just nail. That's just nail polish remover. Hey, yeah. Yeah. Um, what was it? Most of the alcohols, though, that I do like, it's like. Soju. Sake. Um, yeah, mostly like the, mostly Asian alcohols. Everclear is essentially paint stripper. Guns, what the fuck? Should not, oh, oh my god. Oh my god. PSA to the rest of chat, Everclear is paint stripper. And according to Cotton Swab, you should not under any circumstance, take it as a shot. It is 95% alcohol. What the fuck? Dude! Yo, are you okay? Are you okay? Do we need to, do we need to have a talk? Do we need to talk? Have a talk? It's okay. It's okay, Cops. Oh my God. Bruh. And this is, you good? Okay, nice. And this is why, <laughs> this is like this, this is like the concept of Four Locos. This is like the concept of Four Locos, where it's just like, these are the alcohols that you just, under no circumstances, have by themselves. But you just hear people who are like, Oh yeah, I'm gonna drink straight Four Locos. <laughs> you have a Four Loco in your- Okay, but is it the alcoholic version, or is it like, the- like, the modern version, where I think it's just a-, a just a normal drink. I think- I think they made virgin style because people went insane with that in like the early 2000s. Modern? Yeah, 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 it- what was it? I've heard like, 
they toned it down from the original one. They to they toned for for locos down. Uh, it's pussy. <laughs> okay. Never mind. My information's wrong then. My information's wrong. <laughs> all right, all right. Consum, as long as you share that, you're good. You're good. If you drink that by yourself, I'm literally going to I'm going to come in through your sink and just and just grab your face. <laughs> Please. Drink responsibly. Actually, that's a message to all my lofamies. Drink responsibly. Watch yourself. Watch each other. Drink water. Have bread. Yes. Coffee time. You're planning to nurse it over the course of a night? Okay, yeah. If you nurse it, that's fine. That's fine, that's fine. Just don't go all in. <laughs> don't go all in at once. <laughs> yeah. And don't force yourself to finish it just because you bought it. Like... I know I say that a lot about myself. That is my milk tea. That is my down. That is the folly of Popo. That is the folly of Popo that I want you all to learn of. Do not just force yourself to consume something because you bought it, because you paid for it. Because sometimes it's just, you just need to know when to give up. You need to know when to just say, okay, I've had enough. I need to stop. I need to put this thing away. Maybe I'll have it later, or maybe I just need to throw it out. Because, yeah. Like, of course, don't waste food, don't waste drinks, don't waste money. But if it's just at the point where you're just like, I'm going to die if I continue to eat and drink, dr eat, drink, and or consume this thing. Like, please stop. Please stop. If you do, if you do not need to like finish it, that's fine. And this is also for like, if there's service charges because, oh my god, <laughs> I am, I remember when I was younger, um, what was it? When I would go to like, all you can eat places with friends, there would be like table charges if you left anything like, like if you had like leftovers on the table, like they would charge you for that and then we would force ourselves to like, eat more of that. Don't do that. <laughs> if you can't, like, if you, if you can, like, ideally, the best thing is just to order less. Like, only order what you can eat at the time. Limit what you put on the table. But also, if you just can't eat it, don't don't force yourself to eat it because that that can lead to, like, a lot of problems later. Yeah. Gonna bounce. Bye-bye! Thanks for tuning in! Yeah, I hope you had fun. Yeah, I'm probably gonna just be chilling here for a little longer. But yeah. Thank you, thank you! Bye bye Oh yeah. Aww. Oh yeah. But yeah, that is- that is my take. That is my take on many things. Moderation. Do not- Do not have more than you cannot- than you can have. Or- uh, Do not overindulge. And just force yourself to overindulge. That bad. That bad. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. But yeah. Uh anywho. Anywho. Oh yeah. Uh what was I talking? Oh yeah. Forcing myself to enjoy coffee and tea. Yes. Yes. <laughs> well done. <sighs> I think matcha was also in that category too. Like matcha green tea. So I remember for a while, I was just like, this kind of tastes like dirt. And then I had more of it. And like, like matcha with a little bit of sugar, with other stuff. And then I became to, and then I came to crave it. And now I can no, I cannot live without it now. I've become cursed. I've truly become cursed. But yeah. Um... Oh uh, yeah, cause actually, what what was it? One of my hobbies for the longest time was actually um, I don't really know what you would call it. Uh, I think in, I think in Japan they call it cafe hopping, but it's not really, it's not really cafe hopping, cause it's like, I consider hopping like kind of similar to bar hopping, where you go from one place to another, but it's not like really going to multiple cafes within a day. It's just like, I like to. F like research like cafes restaurants and stuff and i like to go and visit and just kind of like chill there and like enjoy the ambiance for like 
or like try out the like a good majority of the menu yeah yeah because in college that's what i did most of the time i would um like what was it for practice i would like sketch people um that were in the in the establishment at the time and um yeah i would always like research like new places to go because like just to get like a different pool of people like uh, new environments to draw in like that kind of stuff but like typically it, it was mostly like like newer cafe like really like stuff for for like young people like you would usually see someone there studying like in all the places i went but um yeah my favorite place though uh recently i saw kind of uh i want to say it fell out but it's just like i just I, it's like i feel like i've watched like it's almost like watching a loved one change for the worst if you know what i mean because like do you ever like do you guys just ever have like this one place like this one like really favorite place that you just love going to it's just like it's comfortable it's just consistently good all the time like a lot of the workers there know you they're really nice to you and then all of a sudden after like a very a very like world-changing event that place isn't the same anymore and it's just like like you see that place like kind of struggling to stay like you see like like you've watched all the workers ha for unfortunately have to leave it because the um the proprietor just can't afford to like pay them anymore and you just watch him and like you just kind of watch like the two owners try to manage an entire cafe by themselves until like they're forced to let go of it and it was just like i don't know i f i don't know if it's just like grief am i mourning <laughs> am i mourning an establishment i don't know but yeah um i had a cafe that I like genuinely really really loved. I like got all my friends to go there. Um, I discovered it in like my early days of college because it was like really close to where I lived at the time. And it was like, it's a very cute, very, very cute cafe. It was very cozy. They played like really soft music. All of the furniture was like, it was kind of like cottage core in a way, but like not so much like farm like. It was like, they had like very vintage looking furniture, but it was painted like pastel. It like all the stuff there, the decorations, like they were kind of yellowed, but in like a loving way. Like, like this is stuff that the owner like owned for a very long time. And it wasn't like stuff that you just find in like furniture stores or like Target, Walmart. Like it's very specific things like old mobiles, little like paper crafts. There's like old plushies and figurines there from like early 2000s that were probably like young kid toys and it's just like it was all just displayed and it was just it was very cute it was very cozy and like yeah i kind of watched that cafe like evolve a lot throughout like the years that it spans and it was just like it was really nice it was like because it used to be like extremely busy like i would i would always have trouble like trying to find a table originally but like especially like near an outlet because i would usually go there for like studying and stuff um but yeah uh what was it i think after after the pandemic it just couldn't be the same that it used to and it's like i think it's yeah it, i mean i say it is a little it is a little selfish to be like oh I wish they could bounce back because like I really enjoyed like being there with everything and like that place had a lot of fond memories for me but yeah um basically long story short the owner had to let the place go and it was under new management and like I think a lot of people who have been to that place and like adored it like I did none of us can really go back there anymore because everything that made that place like what it was is gone like the new owner like got rid of all the furniture there's no music playing like the chairs and the tables are still the same the menu is pretty similar i think because like the thing is i didn't really go so much for food more for ambiance and just like 
one of the main I think one of the main like aspects of why people went there was also because of the um the latte art they did and like the maristas were really skilled like they were able to get like perfect circles like with foam art they were able to do like bears and stuff like really cute designs and it always changed it wasn't just one like stenciled out design like they changed throughout the seasons and like i guess because i was there so many i've like been a regular for so many years they would just make new designs or just like play with like whatever design they put in my cup for that day and it was always just it was really cute it was so like it was just really nice and like warm and i just like i felt really welcome there kind of like a thing and it's like it's like oh that's like a business strategy blah blah blah, blah. but it's just like i don't know i don't know it's just it feels odd because I thought it's like you you kind of figure those places with those big of a reputation will be around for a long time, and it it was that place lasted for over five years, five, five almost ten I think I want to say because that place has been around for actually a long time. But yeah, um, what was it? Yeah, uh, I think also one of the things that like what was it when I graduated from university and I told um what was it I think one of the one of the waiters there that uh, that's like seen me there since like I first started going like asked me it's like oh have you been like how's uh how's university and I told her like oh I just graduated like last month and all I think a lot of the servers that have just seen me throughout the year or like the years that I've been there they all came up and like because i would draw on like receipts like just little like just simple little thank you notes because it was just like i don't know they they were really nice they left me alone they let me sit there for like what three to four hours after ordering one or maybe two things like i was not a high paying customer like i like i did tip but I was nowhere near one of like their big money customers. Like there were people who like came in with like big parties and ordered a lot. Like I was just one person who like would come in like once a week or something, order like a matcha latte and I would just sit down and I would just be there for four hours. Like they didn't need to like attend to me or anything. I was just really easy. But they, um, the rest, the, like the staff, like they all came up to me and they were like, Oh, we just wanted to like congratulate you for like graduating and we wanted to let you know that like all the receipts and like notes that you gave us we kept them and that they were on a board in the back and like all your friends notes and everything we kept those too and i think that was like the part that just made it like it made it really savvy for me kind of because it was just like like it was just like a very small thing but really just like knowing that my friends and i like like i don't know those little like notes or and stuff that you don't really think about just like just being nice to people kind of like like the fact that they like really cherish those things and like they even bothered to keep it and like like not just keep it like they they said that they put it on a board in the back like they had like a little like cork board that they would put like all their notes on after that and ever since then like they've been saving like all the notes the little like drawings all the art stuff that like everyone would just leave behind like for all the waiters and like they just like sound like oh like thank you like like what was it like they just said like like thank you like we really appreciated like like just the little things that you did for us and it was like what the <laughs> i'm just a customer like i, I don't like i had didn't expect to get like any special treatment because of those but yeah um what was it but yeah um i always drew like a little like a little silly thing on all those receipts like i drew like a little silly version of my face like i think you guys have kind of seen it like in some of my thumbnails like just a little fucked up like just a little guy and i used to always wear a beanie um when i was in when i was in university and after I told them I graduated, they 
they actually after that whenever i would go they would put they would put a latte art version of what i drew on my cup what i would draw on my receipts on all my cups and it was just like oh my god you got like i don't know why i'm like getting emotional about this place but it's just like it was just so like sweet and it's like i don't know just the fact that like my art and like those little like just those little silly drawings that i did like that they really like loved them and like appreciated them like that like that was just that just really like hit me and it was just like i really miss that place and like i guess just like the nice like warmth that it brought like I, I don't know it's just like maybe maybe i'm getting over sentimental i'm just being like ooh, i miss like i miss the good old days like what i i do genuinely miss that place and it's like i guess i kind of regret not going there more yeah because the thing is also it's like i'm not made of money i don't have a lot of money but it's like at the very least, I wish I could have spent more time over there. Maybe I could have gotten to know the waitresses, like, like outside of work. Just, like, just be like, hey, like, what's going on? Like, I see you here all the time. Like, I hope you're having, like, a good day. Like, I wish I could have, like, told them that. Kind of. But, yeah. But, yeah, that's my little sappy story. <laughs> that's my sappy story about my favorite cafe. Oh, my God. Why am I... Oh, why am I tearing up? <laughs> Why am I tearing up? Ugh. But yeah, that is, yeah, and that is part of my, my little story with, um, why I love coffee and tea so much, because that place just genuinely, it gave me a lot of good memories with, like, the, um, the tea there. Yeah, because I would always order, like, a matcha latte, like, a hot matcha latte, because I was like, oh, I want to see the little, I want to see the cute latte art. I want to see the cute latte art, and I love matcha. <laughs> and then, I think from there on, it kind of spirals, or not spirals, like, I just kind of fell more and more in love with, like, cafe scenes and, like, all that stuff, like, yeah. Like, yeah, and I, yeah, yeah, yeah. What was it? Yeah, so I don't, I don't know if I would really call my hobby, like, so much cafe hopping. I guess it would just, like, uh i guess it would just be like visiting cafes kind of a thing yeah 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 i'll just call uh i'll call my hub i'll call my hobby like uh finding cute cafes yeah 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 <laughs> <laughs> yeah because cu cute things make your life better cute things make you feel good and that's why i think everyone should be able to have like some should be able to enjoy cute things ah. coffee mm. good oh i work a late shift tonight so i'm just like i have to stay awake i have to drink coffee otherwise i'm my shift tonight is also like it's a it's a closing shift but the it's a snooze shift like what uh it's Sunday, right? Is it Sunday? I don't know. I never know the days anymore. <laughs> uh, oh, it is Sunday. <clears throat> yeah. You know, it's Sunday for some reason. Like, this particular area in the Chum Bucket. Because there's a... Uh, what was it? Uh, how, do I, how, do I, how do I say this? Like, like, in the Chum Bucket, there's different, like, stations that you could be at. Different kinds of shifts depending on what we have for the day and the this specific shift it's a lot of i feel like it's more like the chefs are busier than the dishwasher um and it's a lot of just it's it's a lot of like just prepping because it's more like soups and all that stuff so it's like yeah i i mean it's like i'll still have stuff to do i'll still be kind of busy ish at the very end when we're like closing closing but like i'm not really gonna be like needing a lot of energy if anything more of my more of my energy is just gonna be going towards like staying awake make making sure i can get back all right all that stuff <laughs> yeah uh what was it oh yeah i recently 
applied for uh, a higher position in that area because I'm just like, you know what? I need to work my, I need to work my seniority back up. I need to get more, more pay for what I do. Because mm -hmm. um, yeah, what was it? I feel like different places have different descriptions for what a lead should be doing, but I realized um, at my place now, I already do it for free. Like I don't work the I don't work the lead hours, but I work lead responsibilities. <laughs> and I'm just like, what the hell? I could be getting paid more for this. I could be getting paid two extra doll hairs. You know how much that is? That's an extra coffee. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Oh. Uh, oh, more money. I want more money so badly. Uh, uh, working hard, working boring. I just want to play video games just straight for you guys. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, what's it called? What's it called? Mm. Yeah, I'm hoping I can get this like promotion because like in my eyes, no matter which path I go down with this specific job, whether I stay there, whether I move, whether I go to some new place entirely, just getting this position will only be good for me. I feel like because I found out for a lead you actually have to there, you actually have less physical work to do which is really good because i've been developed i've actually been having um a lot what is it my my wrists i'm actually fighting i'm actually like kind of like going hand to hand with the uh, oh what was it called tendonitis tendonitis yeah because i i've been overworking my um my wrist too much uh it mostly has to do with like my lifting or anything I, I, not or anything. It mostly has to do with how I lift the stuff. Also, because in like proportion to my weight, uh, what was it? A lot of the stuff is considerably heavier for me than other people because more. Some of my coworkers they're able to carry more because they have like more weight that they are carrying. Typically, I am a very scrawny, weak individual. Yes, 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 yes. But yeah. Uh. Yeah, I'm hoping I can get this position so I can... I, I do less physical work. I don't mind so much doing more mental work and like figuring out like where people go, where people should go, like who should be helping who and all that stuff because that like, that's stuff I can do. That's stuff I, I don't mind doing. <laughs> I just gonna be, what was it? I've been asking my other, what was it? My current leads like kind of advice for this stuff. Most of them have been like very, very nice and saying like, oh yeah, I think you can do it. Cause it's mostly just like figuring out like who to put where, um, who works well with who, like getting people appropriate like pads making sure they get breaks and all that. Like very, very like simple things. Like it's a very simple job, but like a bit more difficult than what, um, what I typically do. And it's like, worst comes to worst, I feel like if I need to, I can always jump in. And luckily, if, luckily I've been playing my cards really right, or really well at my work. So I have like a pretty decent reputation in that. Like, I feel like enough people would listen, be willing to listen to me if I were to get this position. And yeah, and yeah. Also because I've been, <laughs> I have been with this place for so long, I, I need to have, like, I feel like there's a specific, <laughs> there's an unspoken, like, expectation with working at certain places. Like, uh, this isn't so much if you work at, like, a smaller company, but, like, a bigger, a bigger thing. Like, I feel like at bigger companies, you need, like, after a certain time, people, like, if they look over your, if people look over your resume after you're applying to, like, another place, they're going to need to see you moving up not just staying still because otherwise they're just gonna ask like why didn't like this job right here that you've been at for like uh i don't know a year how come you didn't get pushed up into any like better positions anything higher and like 
you can it can be for like a lot of things but it's like in my for my specific case it would it would just be because i i had refused to do so because i was afraid that like getting promoted i would have to do more physical work that's like way out of my bounds like i would have to be lifting more i would have to be operating machinery but now that it, like i've asked people like specifically like what are the things i would need to do how physical is this job like how much how much like physicality would i need to put into it like it's not a lot it's not a lot but so i feel like if i get this i will be able to like more properly like have more not more i'll be able to have more energy to put into things that are like i'll actually care about outside of work like streaming drawing all that other stuff because i have a lot of plans i want to do but it's like i just don't have the energy for it because i spend all my energy at work which is a trait i need to really fix because it, it's really <sighs> what is it because this job is not a job i should be like staying at like the chum bucket it sucks like quite frankly it sucks it's it's a job you pick up to get by. It's not a job that you like really stay, you try to stay at, unless like you're moving to like a higher position or something, or like there's a specific, there's a specific thing that you want out of the chum bucket. And yeah. But yeah, I realize like there's really nothing here in this specific thing that I'm looking for. So at the very least, I can milk however much like how or not milk is kind of a bad term i not not milk it i'm just trying to see how how far i can go kind of while i'm here because while this is um like it's cons i guess this is kind of considered a dead-end job like it's just for me i'm trying to make it seem like oh i'm passing time with this job because there's a lot of things that i'm trying to do but unfortunately, I just don't have the um, the the access to some of them yet. Uh, so yeah, that's kind of why I'm doing, like, why I even decided to do streaming, just like, just to find some like footing, and some things, just to have like, another outlet for people to see my work, see more about me, and all that stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I guess, uh, yeah, that's really. That's really how my life is right now. I'm hoping your guys' life is doing okay. I hope your days are going nice and nice and easy. You've you have all had a good morbin. You have all had a good morbin. I hope you have all had plenty of rest. And we'll get plenty of rest tonight. I think I'm a I think I'm a head out for right now so I can have some time to enjoy my coffee. Mmm. <clears throat> coffee. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm gonna head out. Thank you so much to everyone who came by. Thank you to all the new followers. I hope you guys all enjoy everything and enjoy your days. Uh, I don't have, I don't really have much of a ending thingy. Uh, uh, yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. These are, by by the way, the new Lofal Me designs. If you guys wanna. If you guys ever want to like draw yourselves, yeah, this is for you. This is my present to you. I will be posting these on Twitter, so you guys can have like a more like, uh, just more of like an archive version, archive, archive. No, just so you guys can like see them. Yeah, this is my little present to you for the time being. Uh, actually, why yet? Oh, I'm almost at forty followers. Yeah, yeah, I'm almost. I think at the moment I'm 10 o 10? No. I'm 12 away from affiliate. And I really I genuinely didn't think I would even be going this far. Or like getting this much attention with any of my stuff. But thank you guys so much for everything. Um I don't quite know when I'm I don't know when my next one maybe Wednesday. Maybe Wednesday is when I will stream next. Maybe. Or maybe tomorrow. Who knows? I don't know. Even I don't know. <laughs> I will post on Twitter or in my Discord server about 
any possible stream stuff, I will let you guys know. And yeah, that's it for me. Goodbye! <laughs>